Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. It's Poet WP, Gabriel Samadhi here. Sharing with you some more poetry. This next one I wrote when I was, I don't know, 26 or so. And, uh, uh, I specifically, I have another copy of this somewhere. This one went through a flood, so it looks all jacked up. But, uh, I kind of like the way it looks. I don't care. Uh, this is called We All Want to Get to Heaven. Wrangling the rancorous thoughts that begin and end with the same dreary regard... The lobby at the gates of heaven is standing room only. Passion feeds on the hope of well-being. Sad memories deceive one's outlook. Outfoxing hope. Rearranging the rhythms of misery. The measure of my soul I cannot control. Feasible limitations suffocate the extraordinary bounds of the heart. Don't let pain destroy your dignity. This is one I used to read in New York. That's why I can read it well. I've read this hundreds of times in front of microphones. Back in the mid-2000s. 2003 through about five, on and off. Missed those days. Never made any money at it or anything. I just love doing it. Just love reading poetry in front of people. Haven't done it in a long time, actually. I need to go back to New York. Get it back on the open mic scene for a while. I lived in New York for a year, and I visit on and off, you know, when I can, and not enough, though. I lived there for a year, got some shitty job at a diner in the middle of the fucking ghetto. That's not a politically correct term anymore, but who gives a fuck? And, uh, and it wasn't that bad, actually, it was pretty cool, but it, it got kind of bad. I worked the night shift, and there'd be like a bunch of drunk people coming there and shit. Sleeping in the booze and shit. It was kind of... It was a little dicey at times. But anyway, I worked that waiter, jo a job as a waiter. And uh, went out and read my poetry. And scraped by on ramen noodles. <laughs> in 40s. 40s of beer. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. New York's expensive as fuck. But it's worth it, even if you're struggling. If you can do what you want to do, live the dream. Like I said, all the fucking songwriters get all the glory. There's no room for poetry these days, is there? You don't hear about any rich rock star poets. Jim Morrison, he was the only one, and that's because he got out in front of a mic and sang. <laughs> kind of sad, you know? I wish there was more room for poetry. Anyway. Check you on the next one.